Among handholds suitable for controlling prisoners without the use of weapons is the elbow lock with half Nelson. Grasp the inside of the wrist with your hand, slipping your free hand under his arm, across the shoulder, and anchoring your hold on the neck. Resistance is countered by application of pressure to the elbow. A variation of this arm lead is obtained with the anchor hand grasping the prisoner's clothing across the chest. Another effective arm lead is obtained by grasping the fingers, elevating the elbow, and bending the fingers against the joints. An effective and inconspicuous lead is obtained by placing one hand on the elbow to keep it from bending, while the other hand secures two smaller fingers and the thumb exerts pressure on the back of the hand. A simple one-hand lead control is this, with a bent wrist and elbow locked within your arm and hand. There is little likelihood of any attempt to make use of his free hand. Any resistance results in agonizing pressure against the bent wrist. A primary objective in preparing prisoners for search is to arrange them so that they are incapable of counterattack. Line them against a wall with feet extended backward at such an angle that only by keeping both hands firmly against the wall can they maintain position. After completing the search of one man, step back and order the second man into the outside position. Thus you keep all prisoners in your range of vision and you are never exposed to simultaneous attack from two sides. When searching a man, always keep one foot inside his and your weapon on side away from him. At the first sign of resistance, jerking your foot will throw him. Another effective position for search is that in which the prisoner kneels with both hands drawn up behind his back. This position not only prevents any sudden resistance, but it is so awkward that any attempt to gain balance is readily apparent. In approaching a prone enemy, always assume that his helplessness is a pretense. Failure to observe this precaution may result in this. For your self-protection, first clamp his leg in a bar toehold. In this position, you can counter any resistance and search him thoroughly for concealed weapons. Clamp one of his ankles in the back of your other knee and apply pressure with your body and search for concealed weapons. 